Hi guys, uh, this is Vishal here from Trapo. So in this video, we will understand about tooltip, tooltip component, like how to implement tooltip on any uh, component, whether it's dynamic, static, and on data table, data group, and all those things, right? So tooltip is a component where you hover or click on something and it opens up a small pop-up there itself so that you can provide more information to the user that what that particular thing is all about. So we'll see how we can implement those tooltip in Trapo. So here I have a project. Uh, it has some data, some form. So let's say this is a data which is coming from collection. And I want to display maybe some information text here where someone click or hover on something and it should open a information box or a tool tip, right? Or maybe on this button, a dynamic data. So let's see how that can be done. So to build a tooltip, we need three things. First, we need to define the tooltip template that what exactly you want to show on the data. That is one. Second, we need to define some event that, okay, on which particular component, whether on hover or on click, what should show up. So we will see both. So if you go to the project settings, uh, in the application settings, you will see this options uh, templates. So then template, we, we have email template, SMS templates, and we have tooltip templates also. So let's go and create a very simple uh, tooltip template. Let's say, uh, show some message on submit button. Okay, or let's say instead of submit button, I want to probably uh, uh, put a I icon here and want to give that what this name and then URL is. Okay, so I'll say show URL message tooltip it's a so you are input box tooltip okay so here i am not binding any collection because i just want to display static data okay please provide the complete url of your website along with http or https some some basic tooltip is static so now i want to bind this tooltip to a button for that what i'll do i'll go to an event and create an event show url tooltip that's all now i'll go to the option uh, snippet in model pop-up and we'll say display tooltip so this is the option which we will choose so display tooltip, so it is asking me which tooltip you want to show. So it will show me all the tooltip templates which I've created. So I'll say show URL input tooltip, position whether you want to show it on the top, bottom, um, left, right, and you can also give auto. So it will on the basis of what exactly the layout is, it will decide. So I'll say just auto, theme, light, border, material, translucent, and all those things. So I'll just say light with border animation these are all the animation which you can decide so i'll just say scale like you can choose any one which one you like so i'll say scale uh, follow cursor whether you want tooltip to follow cursor or not so i'll say uh, i don't know like these are all default setting you can play around what this looks like maximum what is the width of tooltip you want you can give it in pixel or you can leave it in blank so i'll say let's say 200 pixel some delay if you want tooltip to appear at some delay if you want to tooltip to fade away after you have moved out so let's say after i moved out uh, hide the tooltip after uh, half second so these are all milliseconds so which is 500 milliseconds is more like half second and interactive wins when someone want to uh, touch or interact with the tooltip so again option so i'll just mark it as interactive that's all now let's go to this uh, page and implement the tooltip so this is the page and i want to implement the tooltip somewhere here so i'll just reload the page because we have added tooltip in some other window. So we need to show up here. To display tooltip, you can use either an image or you can use an icon. So we support tooltip on two components, image or icon. So in this example, I will just use icon. Okay. Uh, we'll add option to show tooltip on uh, probably uh, links, button, other things. But as of now, we only support two things. So I'll choose, uh, let's say, th this option. And then these are the options. So here you need to decide, okay, what is the event type? Whether you want to display tooltip on click or you want to display tooltip on hover. So I'll say on click. Okay, and event, what, which event you want to display? So event was show tooltip URL. Okay, that's all. Let's add some margin towards it. So I'll uh, margin toward the left. So I'll say margin left, let's say 20 pixels so that this is a bit towards the right. 
let's in decrease it to 10 pixel okay that's all so now if i go and preview the page as of now there is nothing showing up let me just reload so you see this eye icon is coming up you can in decrease the size or uh, change the color as you want so if i hover it it is not showing anything because we have binded the uh, tooltip on click so let me just click it i'll say click click the tooltip is showing up here and it is interactive you can actually interact with it right so it is showing up here so it's always good to show tooltip on hover so we can just go and try with some hover example so this is for that uh, static text so all the data whatever you are see seeing here is static right now let's see we want to implement dynamic so this is some my dynamic data which is coming from the collection and let's say i want to implement a tooltip somewhere here so let's implement a tooltip with dynamic data so this is data from coming from the collection so let me just display the name of the company which is name okay. maybe some url categories let's say description okay. so this is my dynamic data now let's say i want to display a tooltip in this dynamic data okay so i'll create one more tooltip and then come back here so let's say we want to display tooltip somewhere here so let's go back we'll go to the same thing we'll go to the tooltip uh, templates so i'll say now dynamic tooltip dynamic tooltip for company details okay now this time i choose the collection that from which collection i want the data on tooltip to come from so i'll say company now i'll choose i this tooltip is about the name of the company right this is a variable so we can just input the name so name is here maybe i want to make it bold okay so i can just select it mark it as bold okay with url as this i don't want to make it bold so i'll just uh, bold it and the url is an input field so i say website url and let's say description description some description and this also i want to come from collection so i'll say description which is fine maybe let's say i want to change the styling maybe change the font apply some italic chain font from let's say uh, 14 to 10 and maybe give some back color so let's say a blue color okay that's all and now, now i have saved this so now i've created a tooltip which is taking dynamic value from the company collection so again go to the same thing i'll just create one more event let's say show company tooltip you can give whatever name you want to give create so this time i'll go to this snippet model display tooltip and i'll choose the other tooltip which is dynamic data for company right position top start whatever so let's say i say display on the top a right? theme this time maybe let's choose some other theme animation scale for the uh, yes maximum with let's say 400 pixel show delay 200 milliseconds height delay 500 milliseconds interactive yes okay now i have created an event which will just display the tooltip now going back to the page now we'll just bind this tooltip to some icon now let's display tooltip here so i'll go to the components and look for icon okay. it's here this time let's choose some other icon let's choose this camera icon okay maybe increase the width to 30 add to 30 fill the camera with some color in all these are with optional right now we choose which type of event so this time i'll say on hover on hover show the tooltip in which event show company uh, tooltip with dynamic data right so i'm saying as soon as someone hover on this camera show this tooltip okay i'll add some margin towards this so go to the dimension margin towards the left let's say 25 pixel okay so now if i go and preview the page 
we should be able to see this camera here and on, on hover of that camera we will be able to see the tooltip so the camera is is here and as soon as i hover tooltip okay so if i hover this i am seeing the tooltip and these are the animation the ui which you can control from there and it is interactive i can actually select it right i can actually see this this background color you can choose the layout uh, of uh, like in the event you can actually go and choose that if you want to change some style you can just try it it's instead of dark i want it to be light so i'll say maybe light with border that's all okay i've updated it i'll just reload the page so if i hover you, you see now it is light along with border right same thing so tooltip is coming on the top because we have configured it on the top right and here the tooltip is coming on click so this is how you basically implement static or dynamic tooltip on anything on anything on your web application and then give the uh, option to user to basically explain the like usage of a particular thing or particular section with more description link images like like you need in your use case hope you enjoyed the video see you again in the next video bye bye